Alright guys, welcome back to Shifting the Gear. Hey guys, it's Faz and Polo, we're back again. Well, what do we have here today? It's not a car, but... Definitely not a car, it's a bit different. Why are you shaking it? I want to see what's inside <laughs> it. <laughs> it's a present, Polo, I got you a it's, present. It is actually a present from Colite, guys. Now we did a review on their LED light bars before, now we've got the three inch spotlights. That's right, and yeah. they're in the white beam and of course in a yellow beam. So they're dual beam, they've got a white beam and a yeah, yellow beam. We're going to go through it. Oh, there we are. What is that? Now this, um, you can. It's actually for both cars and motorcycles, Fads. Oh, so you can actually use it for you both. You can use it for both. Yeah, we're gonna go. You can see it here. Um, but we're gonna install this, of course, today on a vehicle. Yeah. Sure. We're, we're like. gonna put it on a vehicle. It's actually behind us. That thing right over there, guys. All right, guys. Before we get straight into it, thanks for all the support. Just remember, subscribe, like, share. Paula, where do we usually put the subscribe button? Somewhere here, or so, top or bottom, we'll yeah, figure so, it out. Somewhere up here or there. And, but, yeah, I do also, obviously we, we do more car reviews, but every now and then we like doing something like this. And, something uh, different. Showing you guys what uh, some new products we got available as well. All right, thanks guys. But yeah, let's get into it. Let's go. All right guys, I just want to do a quick check of everything we've got here in the box. So we've got a bunch of screws in here. That's one. You've got some tools with some extra screws there. So in there, two mounts for both of the spotlights in there. And two awesome brackets with rubber bushings that are very, I'd say very customizable. Um, you can change the angle, you can change the length and width as well. So that's pretty handy. So you've got two of those, two spotlights, of course, as you'd expect. There's two of them, one and two. Put them in there, Fads. Thanks, there mate. And this is actually so cool, guys. This is actually wireless. Now you can actually mount it to your car, however, which way you want. And there's the buttons there. Or you can just use it as a cool remote. That's there. And then you've got all the cables. Now, this is what I was saying earlier. You don't have to know exactly what each and every single bit of the wire has to do, but basically it's kind of plug and play to most of it. Um, and this is, I believe, a little receiver. It's here somewhere. Where is it, Fads? Want me towards so it? Oh, got... there it is. Is that it? Yep. For the antenna. There it is. I think that's for the antenna. For the little remote, remote there. But yeah, pretty cool. And let's not forget the instructions. How easy. It's all there. But yeah, let's get into it, Fads. Right, let's go. Alright, guys, here we are. This is the car. We're about to get into the installation now. I just wanted to quickly show you. If you come a bit closer, if you actually have a look at the actual light bulb itself, there's a few different um, spots where you can mount them. Now, if you do it up for this mount, you can mount it here. So if you want to go straight up, you can put it on the sides, however it works. Maybe you have it something like this. Or what we're using today, because of the, what car we're using, and these are too thick to put the mounts on, we're going to be using this clamp. So if you do clamp on it, you have to put them inside. And it actually lets you adjust it a bit. You can see how that's a bit bigger than this hole. Smart. You can, yeah, you can actually adjust it so it goes a bit up or down. So yeah, how are we going to do it today? Where are we mounting it? Right? I think the best thing we'll do is we'll hang them upside down. And like we'll this. Use it. What do yeah, you think? Really cool. Yeah, we'll put both up there. And um, what and are we going to use? The tools that they've provided and the screws they've provided for us too. Pretty, pretty straightforward right. install. It's pretty easy. All We're right. going to get straight into it. All right, let's go. Now I'm going to use, of course, an angle bit. So pretty much it's just a lot easier just to drill up into the bar itself. And I'll use some self tappers as well. So it's going to be nice and easy. So that way I don't have to sit there using a drill bit. The self tapper will just drill straight into the metal itself. So we are installing this, of course, on, we call it the Batmobile. We use it for off-road, off -road, <laughs> as you can tell. The Sorry. owner loves taking this car off-road. Right nice and easy. Okay, right. beautiful. All right. Now I'll just um, get into bolting them on. All right, done. You one bolt there, just make sure it's even. How do you want it like that? Yeah, that looks good. Yeah. All right, guys, so you can see now we've actually installed them on and they've come on. They've come actually come out really, quite nice. I really like how it's mounted, that's. What do you Looks think, Bola? Looks Looks awesome. I like can't wait to see it properly done. All right, perfect. Now, as you can see, what are we going to do? We've got the wiring itself. Quite simple. We're going to run the ports straight in. Now, very easy to do with this vehicle here. As you can see, we do have an opening. 
So I'm just gonna run it straight from here, put my hand in. So what you gotta do is just find a spot to kind of run it through. That's it, nice and easy. Pull it up. And then of course, cable tie everything else. Yeah, we'll clean it all up afterwards, do it properly. But just for installation's sake, we'll show you how it's done. So running everything straight in. It's actually a very easy install, to be honest with you. Hasn't been hard at all. All right. installation and of course the product review itself they've come out amazing as you can tell now a couple key things of course you do get the wireless remote which I think is, is one of the best things you can actually have so you control this from a far distance as well now turn it on as you can see they've got the yellow beam you can switch it to a white beam of course and then you can actually have both at the same time they are quite powerful this is actually in the day daytime we will test them out at night and we'll show you how they actually the range is on them as well Now, also they've got this little feature, if I press the button, it starts flickering. So it's a flash itself. If I press it again, and it's like a strobe light on one by one. Press it once again, and then it goes back to, again, normal sync strobe itself. Turn it off, and then of course, it's off. Now, I do want to thank, of course, Trilight for sending these out to us. We do appreciate it. We're going to put down in the description, of course, below, where you can actually click on and see this product itself, if you want to have a look at it and see how much they cost. I do recommend them, the quality on them is amazing. Once again, thanks again for watching guys. Remember, like, share, subscribe, it really helps us out. Take care.